Ten-year-old Maya, with her sunshine bright braids bouncing, skipped through the daisy-dappled meadow with her pet rabbit, Cottontail, tucked under her arm. Cottontail, a ball of fluffy white fur with a mischievous pink nose, wriggled, eager to join their game of chase the magical butterflies, where Maya imagined giant, shimmering butterflies led them on fantastical adventures through the park, their laughter echoing in the warm summer air. Did you know that you could create these popular animated short stories using free AI tools? And that's not all. You could also monetize them to earn more than $500 monthly income. So stick around, as I will be revealing these strategies later in the video. The best part about this strategy is that you don't need any technical knowledge or fancy software to get started, but you end up with high definition videos. You only need to follow the steps in this video to bring your stories to life. We will start by creating our script and prompts using Google's Gemini. Then we will create our images using Bing Image Creator and expand them for free with Adobe Firefly. We will then proceed to animate our images using Hyper AI and further increase the quality of our videos with VMake. And finally, we will add a voiceover using CapCut. So let's get started. Firstly, we need to generate our script using Gemini. Let's go to Google and search for Gemini. We will give it a simple prompt. Generate an imaginative Disney short story about a black girl and her pet rabbit in one paragraph. Now that we have our story, we will ask Gemini to generate our prompts for the story. Depending on how consistent we want our characters, we could include details like hairstyle, clothing style and color, age, and various other details. But for this demonstration, we won't delve deeply into these characteristics. Now that we have our prompts, we need to go to Bing Image Creator to generate our images. Keep in mind that you can use your favorite image generators like Leonardo AI and even Ideogram. These tools will provide your preferred aspect ratios, unlike the free version of Bing Image Creator. Unfortunately, I usually have a hard time creating black characters with some of these tools, which is why I prefer Bing Image Creator. The quality of images it creates is great and also sticks more to the prompt than some of these tools. So let's copy and paste our prompts. We need to include 3D animation style as that's what we're looking for. Now we need to wait for it to generate our images. These images look great and we can use any one we choose for our short story. But let's generate one more variation and see the results that we will get. These also look fantastic. Now we need to repeat this process using the remaining prompts and these are the images we generated. As you can see, images created with the free version of Bing Image Creator have square aspect ratio. So we are going to change this using Adobe Firefly. Let's go to firefly.adobe.com. Now let's scroll down and select Generative Expand. Here we need to go back and select our image. So let's click the back button. Now we can upload our image and select Expand on the left toolbar. Depending on the type of video we want to create, we can choose any of the preset aspect ratios, but we will be using portrait. So let's select portrait. We also need to use the handles to further increase the aspect ratio as Adobe Firefly will include their logo at the bottom. Now we can select generate to extend our image. As you can see, Adobe Firefly has provided three variations of our image. We can choose whichever we want and then click on the download button. Now we have our portrait image. The only thing left is to remove the Firefly watermark at the bottom of our image. For that, we need to go to Google and search for Adobe Image Resizer. Now, let's select this link and upload our image with the Firefly watermark. The dimension we're after is the 916 aspect ratio. So let's select this one and use the handles to reposition our image. Let's make sure the Firefly logo is nowhere to be seen and then click download. We need to repeat this process for the rest of our images. Now, we are ready to animate images using Hyper AI. We need to go to hyper.ai. As you can see, we have the option to create a video from text or animate our image. We will be choosing the latter. Now we need to upload our image and copy the prompt we used to generate our image from Gemini and paste it inside Hyper AI. We will also change the duration to four seconds and then click create. Let's take a look at our videos. 
These videos look great, but Hyper AI produces videos with 720p resolution, which may look okay on mobile, but you may want to increase the video quality for larger screen devices. So let's take a look at how we can get that done quickly. We will be using vMake to increase the quality of our video. So first, we need to go to Google and search for vMake Video Enhancer. Let's select the first result that leads to vmake.ai slash video enhancer. Now, we simply need to select our video and vmake will do the rest. Let's take a look at the results. As you can see, these look considerably better. Now that we have our high definition videos, we need to add a voiceover. Let's open CapCut and import our videos. Now we need to add the voiceover. To do this, we need to return to Gemini and copy part of our generated script. We will drag and drop a text into our timeline and paste our copied text. Let's also click on the text to speech and select our preferred voice from the available options. Once we've decided on the voice for our voiceover, we simply need to click start reading to apply the text to speech. Now we will repeat this process to generate the voiceover for the remainder of our script. The next step is to drag and drop our videos and arrange them according to our voiceover. Our video looks good, but we need to add captions by clicking on text, auto captions, and finally create. We can select our preferred effect for the text and include animations for our text. We also need to add some animations to our videos. So we will click on our videos, select animations, and choose our preferred animation. We can also add some effects to our videos by selecting effects and simply dragging our preferred effect to our clip. Now we will go to filter and add the clear filter to our whole video. This will enhance the quality of our video. Finally, let's add our background music to our video and also decrease the volume our video is now ready. Let's click on export, choose 2K resolution and export. Now, these are the two ways you can generate revenue from these videos. The first is through AdSense from YouTube. As you've probably noticed, channels like Stories with Mr. Chudo, the AI historian, really not AI, and more are gaining millions of viewers through this strategy. Once monetized, these channels earn revenue from these videos. Not only that, you can also post these videos on Instagram and TikTok and generate a lot of viewers. This can lead to sponsorship deals with brands that typically pay anywhere from $500 to $2,000. Now let's take a look at our video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. 10 year old Maya, with her sunshine bright braids bouncing, skipped through the daisy dappled meadow with her pet rabbit, Cottontail, tucked under her arm. Cottontail, a ball of fluffy white fur with a mischievous pink nose, wriggled, eager to join their game of chase the magical butterflies, where Maya imagined giant, shimmering butterflies led them on fantastical adventures through the park, their laughter echoing in the warm summer air.